I feel like this would be a good well, time to do the B-roll about the Elliot Ness. Well, really, I I mean, five stars for Elliot Ness. Uh, I would really kind of give it a four. I'd give it five. I, I'd give it I'd give it four, and here's here's why. Yeah. Here's why. It's an amazing example of the style. Mm-hmm. It's uh, enjoyable more so than its counterparts, like say a Boston Lager. That's a tough. Yeah, that that's uh, like for me, it's one of the it's toughest decent, things to it's compare decent it to. Decent value for money, but there's not that X factor that puts it in the five territory. Here is is kind of what I'm what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Um, I respect that. I yeah. guess like this would be a point it's where like, the camera, I'd look at the camera and say, and just to remind everyone, five stars is everybody should try at least one of these. And I don't think even if you find it's not your thing, you'll have a bad time. Well, right. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of understand from that, that standpoint, but it's, uh, but I understand the four star. It's, it's a, it's a good beer. It's just not a great beer. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That, that, that's kind of my standpoint. That's how a lot of people feel, but I personally still think it's a five-star lager. It's one of my favorite lagers ever. It's not my favorite. Uh, it's not my favorite Great Lakes either. I mean, I I prefer Burning River. Burning River's good, though. Honestly, I think if I had to pick a favorite great lake, Great Lakes, it's the Lake Erie Monster. I love that fucking beer. Though you know what? Honestly, it's between that or this because Elliot Ness was. It still kind of is my go-to beer. <laughs> 